Hey everyone and welcome to this new episode of Legion of Short. Today we're gonna have a little talk about Magician and Starcaller because we had such a discussion in my latest stream yesterday. And I think it's very important to understand first of all how Magician and Starcaller aura work and when to use them the best, what units are the best to pair them with and what are common mistakes people used to do. First of all, we are talking about the Amplify Magic ability from a Starcaller, which is the Aura ability. It will give a 0.7 mana per second regeneration. So each unit that is within the Starcaller Aura does gain 0.7 mana per second. Magician is basically the same Aura as we can see here, um, but the value is a little bit different, it's a little bit smaller, which is 0.55 mana per second. So now we have those two similar auras that do the same thing. You do position them like any other aura as well, which means you have the one unit in the center, which is either Starcaller or any other unit that you put Magician on. And you can get additionally six units surrounding. This makes seven units in total you are able to buff. I prepared some units here for you to just demonstrate how much of an impact this could be. So well, let's say we have a star color here which does have the Amplify Magic ability which is 0 0.7 mana per second plus we do have an additional Magician and obviously as you can already see this value is a lot better if you have a very small mana pool right let's take Zeus for example I think this is the unit um, having this, the smallest mana pool apart from the Fire Archer but are just like very niche very cheap not that um, amazing with it but we see a Zeus does have a mana pool of four which means when you regenerate 1.25 mana per second it takes only a little bit more than three seconds to get one spell only by magician and star color aura while if you take another unit let's say the Hellgate, you have a mana pool of 40 which takes around 10 times the time so you already see, right, there's some massive advantages and disadvantages in using Magician in different units. So as you want to place your Magician or Starcaller Aura correctly, make sure you would like to have units surrounding it that have a very small mana pool. This is why often you do not really want the gate to be next to a Magician if there's better options, right? Let's say you have the option between either getting a Pegasus or a gate next to the last spot of the Magician Aura. You obviously would choose the Pegasus because it does have a very small mana pool plus it does generate mana it can later on give to the gate for example. Now, as you choose the six units you want to have in your six spots surrounding the aura, make sure to choose those that have a very small mana pool but always keep in mind that the price does have a very very big effect right so let's say do not want a fire archer which costs 80 gold if you could have a violet at the same spot which does have a relatively small mana pool as well but is a lot more expensive so it does have a, a strong spell for example right or same as with a disciple it does have a very nice and small mana pool with nine obviously Zeus is a little bit better here but the cost of the disciple for example is a lot higher than the one of a fire archer. Okay, this is tip number one. Get to know the amount of mana your units have. You do not want to have units like a Sky Queen to be buffed by Magician because this is not really going to help you. It would take ages to get it to full mana with the help of Magician. And you could use it better or have another Legion spell instead. Second tip a lot of people do is don't be too greedy on those spots, right? I, my first tip tells you to only pick those units that are efficient with small mana pool and as well good cost. But the second tip is a little bit the opposite, which means don't be too picky about what you use on the unit. Like let's say you already have to invest a lot in your star color, right? Which is 530 um, if I'm not mistaken. So you already have to invest a lot of mana there, right? If you now wait till you only build 200 plus gold units around your aura, you will take a long time till it's like really effective. So 
If you do have units like Gate or anything else, don't hesitate to still use the buff on them. Just keep in mind that in some spots it is better to pick certain units that have a smaller mana pool compared to those that have a very large mana pool without just being too picky and only using those that are like perfectly fitting and not giving the others the buff you need because often you will be too slow. You're like, okay, now nah, I'm gonna save a little bit more um, of my aura. But in the very end, you are just gonna die on a wave or you push a lot more because you have been that picky. And this is what you do not want to happen in the end. All right, I hope I was able to get you some knowledge of how I use my Magician and Dark Color Auras correctly. I hope you liked it. Enjoy the next videos. Goodbye.